Hey everybody, welcome to our Bones and Brews Outdoor Kitchen here in St. Louis. Today we are going to have a lot of fun with an old time favorite here, just to mix things up and kind of create a new way for an appetizer for some friends and family. So what we're going to do is a twist on bacon wrapped jalapenos. So these bacon wrapped jalapenos, we're going to do them in coin style, wrap them in bacon. Let me explain what we're doing here. So I had taken some jalapenos, I used my coring tool, I cored out those jalapenos. I made a mix of cream cheese with some seasoning. I used the gospel from Meat Church. You can use any of your favorite barbecue seasoning. I mixed it in with that cream cheese to give it a little bit of flavor. I stuffed those jalapenos. I left them in the refrigerator overnight. I want them nice and cold before I slice them. Because what I'm doing here is I'm taking that jalapeno and I'm going to slice them to about a third of an inch wide. So I've got that coin size with that cream cheese still stuck inside. Got myself some thin cut bacon. So what I did here is thin cut bacon is about three inches long here that I cut those slices in. Just enough to fully wrap that coin just once. Just like that. Now what you can see I've done here is I'm going to put a little twist on this too. Just to have a little fun to serve them on the plate. I've started putting them on a skewer. So I've already got two going here. I'm going to get this third one going here. And once they're on that skewer, I'm going to hit them with a little bit of seasoning on top of that bacon. I love when I'm using anything bacon wrap using some hot honey hog. Or you can use a hot, the honey hog from your church if you don't want as much heat. Just hit that with a little seasoning there on top. It gives that bacon a great taste as well as just a great coloring when it comes off that smoker as well. So I'm going to put three to four of them on every skewer. Throw them on the Weber Smoky Mountain. I've got the Weber Smoky Mountain going a little hotter than I would typically would. About 300 degrees. A little bit of apple wood in there as well today. So it shouldn't take really that long on a smoker. I'm really just, what, however I prefer that bacon to be. I like my bacon crispy. You may not like it as crispy, so really just kind of keep on an eye on that bacon for yourself. Probably 45 minutes to an hour will all you'll need there. Um, what's nice too, because you're wrapping with that bacon, that cream cheese shouldn't drip out of there at all. Should be stay, stay together really well. So we're going to get them on the Weber Smoky Mountain, and then we'll come back and taste test them when they are done. All right, so we have pulled those skewers off of the Weber Smoky Mountain. I've got one of them plated here we're going to use for our taste test, and uh, we'll see how we did. You can see it. I've, they look how beautiful they look on that skewer here on that plate. We're going to pull that first one off here. I've let them rest here for about five to ten minutes so they're not piping hot when they hit the top of my mouth. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is freaking amazing. Yeah. What an awesome way to take an old school favorite because everybody likes making back making bacon wrap jalapenos. Such a cool, fun way to do it. Coin size like that, wrapping them in bacon. Put them on the skewer just for those presentation points as well. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I will have to admit to when they were on the smoker, I was thinking, you know, as I opened up this Kona beer, thinking about Hawaii, thinking about the islands, it's like, you know what? A little piece of pineapple between that bacon and those jalapenos, that may go a long way as well. So I think next time that's what we're going to do. But hopefully you learned a new way for an old school recipe back home. And uh, just have a little fun with your bacon wrap jalapenos. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys again on Bones and Bruce.